What's up guys, it's Ed back again from TechSource and welcome to Setup Wars Episode 8 where you submit your desk setup and get featured on my channel and a chance to win a prize. I host them every Monday and I randomly select 5 of your submissions and I feature them on my channel. You guys get to vote on the best desk setup. If you guys are new to the series and want to submit your desk setup, you need to watch the video linked down below for the instructions and requirements. So with all that said, let the Setup Wars finally begin. Alright, so the five chosen contestants are Owen, Fahad, Elliot, Zach, and Rod. Congratulations for making it to this week of Setup Wars. By the way, all the products I mentioned in this video will be linked down below. And also any products I recommend to you guys will also have its special section down below. So starting off the show is Owen with his clean dual monitor setup. One from Samsung and another from AOC, which are not only different sizes, but different colors also. On the desk, we have the famous Corsair Vengeance K70 keyboard, along with a Corsair M65 RGB mouse and Turtle Beach P11 headphones. He also has some LED strips on the back, and it looks like you did a really good job with wire management. For the PC, he is rocking an AMD FX 6300 CPU with an MSI GTX 660 graphics card in that awesome 500R white case from Corsair. And as always, I will leave a link to the full parts down below. I like that you are next to a window, but since it doesn't have any blinds, doesn't that sun glare bother you while gaming? Which takes me to my recommendations. Obviously, I would recommend blinds if you don't have any. Also, an ATH headphone hanger on the right side of your table would really clean up your desk and you will have a place to hang your headphones. I would like to see two of the same monitors, but recommending monitors is crazy since they are expensive. So I'm gonna try and stick to these smaller things. Lastly, I recommend hiding the remote for your LED strips. And what I usually do if I want to hide small things like this is by sticking them to the roof of my desk. As you can see, I did the same here with my camera's battery charger by sticking double-sided 3M tape on the charger and attaching it to the roof of my desk. And I used some cable drops to route the wire in the back. After a few attempts, I got used to where the location is and I'm sure you can recognize where the buttons are on the remote after a few tries without even looking. But I'll go ahead and link all that stuff down below for anyone that's interested along with the 3M tape that I used. But uh, thank you Owen for entering Setup Wars. Next up is Fahad and we have a dual Samsung 24 inch monitor setup, an HP Elite V2 keyboard along with an HP X4500 wireless mouse. He also has the Logitech Z200 speakers on the desk and the Xbox One headphones hanging from the wall. Okay, so pretty straightforward setup, a point for having the same monitors and another point for the awesome cable management down below. I like the fact that you put the speakers behind the monitors. And I mean, the only other thing I would recommend is perhaps a mouse pad. And actually, Amanda left a comment on the last Setup Wars video asking why I always recommend mouse pads. The reason why I recommend mouse pads, aside from aesthetics, is the fact that it helps protect the life of the mouse. Wood surfaces and also uh, plastic fake wood type surfaces also wear out the mouse's feet and also wears out the surface of the table. And what that does is it increases the mouse's strain and makes it that much difficult to use over a period of time. So that's why I recommend mouse pads in my setup or videos. Of course, there's the exception on a glass surface, given that the mouse actually does work on a glass surface like the MX Wireless Master Mouse. Other than that, you have a simple clean setup. Thank you, Fahad, for entering Setup Wars. Next up is Elliot, and it looks like a dual display setup. The left one is a 24-inch ASUS monitor, and on the right, we have a 25-inch LG monitor. On the desk, we have a SteelSeries Apex keyboard and a SteelSeries Rival mouse, but I don't know how I feel about that mouse pad choice. It really doesn't go well with your setup. There is also some speakers from Acoustic Energy and Sonos Play on your desk. And there's even a SteelSeries Siberia headset hanging from the monitors. Pretty cool micro ATX build using the Corsair 240 air case, although I would have gone with white LEDs instead of blue. Wire management is decent, however I think that you can definitely clean it up more with the Omni mount cable sleeve which I'll also link down below. I would also recommend a headphone hanger that you can attach to the right side of your desk. It will work for your setup since your PC is on the right side as well. But other than that, great setup Elliot, thank you for entering Setup Wars. Next up is Zach and Holy Orange Batman. We have a triple 24 inch ASUS monitor setup, which is mounted on the wall with the Monoprice arms. An excellent presentation with that wallpaper choice. 
and the orange wall just somehow works with this setup, oddly enough. There's also a Samsung soundbar underneath along with a K70 keyboard and M65 mouse. Solid choice on the gaming gear, my friend. For some reason, the monitors aren't flush together, the middle one seems to be slightly behind the other two, and it is noticeable and kind of bothers me a little bit. I also can't help but notice that you have a speaker stand made out of connects, which is really creative, and I'm sure you have one, well at least I hope you have one, for the other side as well. Really great job on the cable management, I see that you routed them along the desk legs, and you have a really cool custom painted PC. Uh, fun fact, Zach actually painted the heat spreaders, the PCIe brackets, and the case grills on the Air 540, so props on that amazing painting job, dude. As far as the specs, we have an i7 4790K with a GTX 970 graphics card. One thing I would strongly recommend for you to pick up is a piece of wood or maybe even some cardboard, something similar, to put between your PC and the carpet so that it isolates itself from the ground and that way it doesn't build up static and end up damaging your components. But other than that, you have a really dope setup, Zach. Thank you for entering Setup Wars. Last but not least is Rode and it looks like we are in his bedroom. On the desk is a 23-inch LG monitor. Uh, also a Razer Lycosa keyboard and a Naga Epic mouse. Hanging from the lamp I see a Plantronics rig headphones and on the right side of the monitor we have the Lenovo Y series laptop with a red lobster on top. I kind of have mixed feelings about the stuffed animals on your desk but if that's what you're into, I have no problem with that. I also noticed the blue Metal Gear Rising plasma lamp right next to the Sony TV. That thing looks really cool. You also have a bunch of little figurines on top of your soundbar which is mounted on the wall and then you have your Wii and PS3 on the side over there. You do have a lot of stuff connected on your desk so I don't expect you to have clean cable management. However, there are some stuff linked down below that can certainly help you out. Some things I would recommend is perhaps an actual hanger for your headphones and I feel like the TV would look a lot better mounted on the top of your soundbar but having it on your desk works just as fine. Uh, yeah, really cool setup, I'm really digging the plasma lamp, I just can't seem to stop staring at it, but thank you Rode for entering Setup Wars. Alright, so that's it for the submissions for this week, voting begins now, so make sure you guys drop a comment down below on who you think has the best desk setup. Voting will end this Saturday and I will announce a winner on Sunday on my Twitter and Instagram account, so make sure you guys are following me there for all of the updates. Uh, if you guys missed my previous episodes, I'll link a playlist link down below so you guys can catch up. And if you guys want me to continue doing Setup Wars every Monday, smash that like button as always to show your support for the series. But I'm basically done here. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.